Hi, I'm Captain Corey Talbot with Real Addiction Charters. And I'm Greg Stock. I'm the CEO of Thibodeau Regional Medical Center. We're headed out to catch some mangrove snapper at the close-in rigs, right, Corey? I forgot to tell you, Greg, we're going to be spending 24 hours fishing yellowfin tuna, so get uh, ready for your workout. I don't know about that, man. I don't like sleeping on beanbags that well. Folks, get ready for this edition of Casting Cast Cajun. Cajun. <laughs> Cast and Cajun is brought to you by Thibodeau Regional Medical Center for expert, compassionate care. Grafton Dermatology, specializing in diseases of the skin, hair, nails, and cosmetic surgery. Cajun Home Improvements, the last roof you'll ever buy. Don's Wholesale, your truck superstore with the largest selection of pre-owned trucks in Louisiana. Homatravel.com, experience world-class fishing in the heart of Louisiana. Visit Homatravel.com. Bourgeois Meat Market, miracles in meat since 1891. And by Tony Sacheries, makes everything taste great. Picture. Little mangrove snapper here, guys. <laughs> Pretty good. Good start, right here. Yes, sir. We're fishing in about 100 foot of water. We have these mangrove snapper that hang out on pretty much anything from 50 to 60 feet out to 200 feet. And what we're going to do is we're pulling up to these rigs, and on the upcurrent side, we take and break up some pieces of sardine, pogie, whatever kind of chum you have. We let it into the upcurrent side of the rig until we see the mangroves come out. And we're gonna be hooking croakers through the back and drifting them into the rig. It's important to free spool the, the croaker in so he swims freely. Mangroves are very finicky. When the fish comes out and grabs the croaker, hook him up and get him out. Well, let's see how we do. Got him, buddy. Awesome, good fish. Nice mangrove. Here, baby. In the boat. Ready fish. Got somebody, somebody else's hook, line, too. Good job, Greg. All right. Got it hooked up under here. There we go. Oh, that's a pretty fish, isn't it? Fun to catch. They're so smart. You really have to do a good job getting the hit hook set, or you know you don't have a chance. So, um, great eating. I love eating mangrove snappers. We like to blacken them at our house. Just a choice experience being out here catching these fish. You better move your line fast. Move quick. Why you're hitting them? <laughs> Look at that job, little guy, buddy. man. That's good eating. Good eating. To fish the mangroves, we're using a bigger caliber spinning reel with a pretty stout rod. On our spinning reels, we use 80 pound braid line. We hook a four rod circle hook into the croaker and we free line it into the rigs where the mangroves are. Pull them to the back, go. Brian. Come on, Brian. Pull them to the back. That's a big one. Keep walking. Keep walking. Get him, Brian. Come on, dude. Why are you falling? Quit falling and reel. Redeem yourself, Brian. Come on. You look like you beat her like on ice or something. <laughs> you got him, dude. Keep coming. He's almost here. That's, That's an IT guy catching a fish. On, 
that's what you're seeing here. <laughs> They're all IT guys. That's that's why. It's a big one, Brian. Keep coming. Come on, coming, Brian. He's almost here, dude. Yo, that's a pretty one. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, Brian, what'd you think about that fish, Brian? It's been a long time coming. <laughs> Finally got him one. It's a nice one, guys. That is a nice fish, man. Are we going to get Mr. Greg hooked up with a nice, lively croaker? When you're doing this, you want to hook him right through the back right there. The spine runs down the middle of the fish, of course, so if you hook it too deep, it'll paralyze the fish. You want him to be able to swim good out there. The more aggressive the croaker is, the more chances you have of getting a big mangrove snapper. What's the, what's the state champion? You know, the biggest fish. The biggest mangrove, I think, 17. is thir between 13 and 15 pounds. I don't, I don't remember exactly the... Uh, well, this looks like a... That looks like it'd be about a 10 pounder, I think. 10 would be all right. 10, we'll, 10's we'll good. Let's, yeah. let's see what we can start. <laughs> let's see what you can do, Greg. All right, man. Thank you. All right. Reeling, pull him to the back. Double hook up, guys. Double hooked up. Come on, reel him in. Flip him in the boat. Flip him in. Flip him in. Flip him in. Oh, man. Up yeah, there, yeah. Yeah, right yeah. All right. Nice fish. Good job, guys. Pretty Woo. fish, man. These are pretty fish. I don't care what you say. These are all mangroves? It's all mangroves now. Beautiful, fellas. That's some good eating fish right there. Hey, Corey, you got one more over here. He's gonna get y'all back into position. Y'all can catch y'all a few more. <laughs> Isn't that a pretty fish? Oh, that's a that's a beauty to me. That's a really big stout fish. Thick, pretty color. Just kind of a almost like a trophy. Just a wonderful fish. We're having a blast out here, Captain Cajun, Corey, our cap El Capitan. He does a great job with this great boat he has. We're having a lot of fun here. It's a great privilege to be here. Oh, some of these guys, they never fished out here before. Not that I'm an expert myself, that's for sure. But, you know, there's some stuff to learn about circle hooks and where to put the bait and all of those kind of things. They've done a good job, though. They've done a good job. You know, while you're standing here looking at that fish, yeah, they, they need to do better though, you know. There's always opportunity for improvement. You know, you know how that is. <laughs> we are on them. It's okay. 12 inches is all they gotta be. It's a, that's a nice one. The other one you caught was just a big one. Well, Corey, I, I know, know your family some, and some of them work at the hospital where I work, Thibodeau Regional. Great people. And what's interesting is that you're in your third year at Nichols in pre-med, right? Yes, sir, I am. And you have about a year left, and you'll be applying to medical school. Yes, sir. Um, actually, later this year, uh, come around early August or late this month, I'll be finally applying to medical school. That's exciting. Congratulations. Thank you. You know, Nichols State's a great university and helps prepare a lot of young people for careers in the medical sciences, nurses, physicians, uh, laboratory people, scrub techs, and so on respiratory, cardiopulmonary, and we appreciate, uh, we appreciate Nichols State. But also, at Thibodeau Regional, one of the ways that we've grown and be able to, been able to serve the public better is through the recruitment of key positions. Last year, we recruited 13 doctors, and these are anesthesiologists, endocrinologists, family practice, and so on. And it's been a really great thing to see that happen in the community. We hope someday You'll, you'll maybe come back to Thibodeau after you finish all that education. I would gladly come back and live in Thibodeau. <laughs> well, you get to do some uh, fishing with the other quarry over yeah, here, man. Yes, you, that gets in your blood. It's already oh, in your blood. That's it. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right, it's time to put the small stuff up and get the big gear out. We're going to go fish some yellowfin tuna. I got 
it. Greg, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, come up here in the middle right here. Keep on him, keep it tight. Reel on him. Reel on him, keep it tight. There you are, keep it tight. <laughs> Greg here looks like he's hooked up to a nice yellowfin tuna. How does he feel, Greg? Weak. <laughs> he's working out those muscles, man. Get him, buddy. Ah, nice little black fin. It's a good one, though. He's thick. It's a nice one for the box. Get some good loins off of him. Pretty fish. Right there, Greg, and just kind of ease him to ease him to core. Beautiful guys, beautiful fish. Good gaff. Woo. All right, Greg. Got our first tuning. Good job. One in the boat, fellas. Let's go after another one. Oh, he's ready, all right. <laughs> I feel like a black fin. This is so much fun out. It's so beautiful out here catching these tuna. A real addiction. Tony Fontenot's Casting Cajun Show, Thibodeau Regional Medical Center. Thibodeau Regional has grown a lot over the years. We've, we've grown significantly. When I came to Thibodeau originally, there were 42 doctors on the active medical staff. Now there's 150. A lot of different specialties, endocrinology, infectious disease, heart surgeons, all a variety of doctors that take care of cancer, surgical specialists, the medical oncologist, radiation oncologist. We do five times more breast uh, cancer treatment than anybody in our region, as an example. And it's been a great run. We, we're still not through, though. We're working diligently to continue to improve our quality, and our quality is some of the best in the country, but we, we want to get better. And uh, we've acquired a lot of technology to help us get better, to work smarter, not just harder. We're working very closely with our doctors, and they've been very receptive and provided some excellent leadership, it's really a partnership between the hospital and the doctors that leads to what we call patient-centered excellence, where the patient is, there, is the focus of everyone, but the clinical care and the personal care both, uh, which create a great patient experience, we want that done consistently at the very, very top. So we're challenging ourselves to be as good as anybody for what we do with neurosurgery and all the other specialists we have now. We're more than a community hospital. We're, we're truly a regional medical center. We have 60% uh, of the patients that we treat come from Five Parish area. They don't just come from Thibodeau. And so, you know, we're, we're excited about, uh, about what we're doing. The healthcare is really challenging right now. There's a lot of change, a lot of unknowns, a lot of uncertainty. But we're, we, what we do is stay very focused on the patient, and we think that's the answer to it. Yeah, man. Little old black finny. There you go, Brian. So my shirt here is uh, top 5% of patient safety in the nation. And as an employee and as a user of our health services, I think it's a great thing because I know when my loved ones and my family and even myself go to the hospital, I know that we're going to come out, which is always very important. So it's very rewarding both to work at a facility, have a great job, but also be very confident in the services that they provide. Well folks, what we're doing right now is we're, what we call bump trolling hardtails. We caught some hardtails with the sabiki rigs on the way out. And now we're just hooking them onto the circle hook with about 80 pound fluorocarbon leader. And we're just bumping them around this drill ship right here. We're marking a few tuners. They should come, come up a little better as the day goes by. There's one on as we speak, but we're um, we're just gonna free drift them out here. Catch the bite, catch the bite. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. That's a good one. That's a good one. See? Oh, what is that? A barracuda? Corey's got it. 
Keep reeling. Yeah, my modern food on Now he's way on a mouthful of razor blades. It's hard to get. Wow. The gap is it's too uh thin for him. Mouthful of razor blades. These things have got big, large teeth, so you gotta be careful. Wow. Some bad teeth. Look at that. See those teeth? Once you see these teeth. <laughs> and those things are like razor blades, man. All right, as you can see, it's, it's gotten dark on us. We change our technique. We throw multiple pieces of chum in the water. We're going to continue to do this and make multiple drifts throughout the night and see if we can put together a nice box. Look at the top. You're not gaining anything wrong right now. You get a gain when you reel down. Reel down. Okay. Keep him up. Just, just got a little weight on him. So. Let him fight. If you go pull, you don't pull against him. Okay. Don't waste your energy. Well, look at the march now. Oh, man. Right there we go. We got to figure that out. him going? He's pulling drags. Okay, he's not doing anything with him right now. Okay. He's got a good one on. I saw him. So, this is a fish. Yeah. This is what we're passing over right now. Oh, okay. Back of that ball. Come on, watch it. Come back. Yeah, why that right there? That's a black kid, dude? Yeah. Dude, he just gave up. He just gave up on you, man. This casting Cajun cooking segment is brought to you by Tony Sashries makes everything taste great. Okay, what I'm cooking for you now is tuna tacos. It's one of our special appetizers here. Um, it's on the menu all the time. We start off with fresh tuna. We only use fresh tuna. As local and as fresh as we get it. Hopefully it's swimming in the, the Gulf the day before. This is a spin on a number of dishes I've had and kind of uh, put together myself. It could be wontons, it could be uh, fish tacos, it's a little bit of everything all twisted in one, but it's a nice little appetizer. It's usually not what you expect. It's a small taco. It has a, it's a big bang for a little taco. First thing I do is uh, marinate it with our tuna marinade. And we let it sit for just a little while. It don't have to penetrate the meat real much. It's our seasoning more than a marinade. Now we're gonna put it on the grill and uh, just to infuse a little smoke into it. We're not trying to cook the fish, we're just trying to get that next element of flavor is all we're gonna do. Now we're gonna flip it on both sides and just for about 30 seconds, just so that, that smoke's infused in there and we're gonna take it off. We're taking it off now and we're gonna dice it. I'm gonna dice this tuna real nice and we're gonna put it in a mixing bowl. Once it's in the mixing bowl, we're gonna add cilantro, red onions, red bells, just to a, a, uh, complement the tuna. We're gonna season it with some soy glaze and some more of our tuna marinade. Our next step, we're, gonna, we're making our slaw. It's an Asian slaw, so we're gonna put our Asian twist on it. We're gonna add cilantro, and we're gonna add well, wasabi cream to it. Once we have all our components together, we're gonna take our wonton wrappers, and we're gonna fry it. The way we fry wontons is um, we use these little, this neat little taco basket, and they go right in the fryer for 30 seconds. Once they're done and formed, I'm gonna take them all, I'm, I'm gonna take them to the table and we're gonna add our slaw and top it with our tuna. And then we're gonna drizzle some wasabi cream on top and soy cream. Hopefully when, when a customer gets this dish, they're gonna be surprised. It has a lot of components for a very small dish. You're gonna bite into it and you're gonna get a texture of the shell. You're gonna get a crunch of the, the cabbage and then you get the, the pop of the, the tuna. The tuna's gonna be a little spicy and sweet and your cabbage is gonna have that wasabi kind of heat to it. It's gonna, it should be a nice 
nice starter for your meal. Let's get Tony in there and, and try these tacos. This looks great, Chef. Good. Mm. Not only looks great, tastes great too. Awesome fish tacos. Different than any fish tacos I've ever had. Possibly my favorite. Good. Hurricane Hole, Grand Isle, Louisiana. Come and get you some. Since Tony couldn't be here with us today, we'd like to thank him for letting us host his show. Yeah, on behalf of Thibodeau Regional, we had a really great fishing trip with tuna and a variety of other fish. And we got to tell a little bit of the Thibodeau Regional story, which we'd like people to know and understand a little bit better. We have a great staff, great doctors, great board, and great team of people, and we're doing the very best we can to serve the community. As always, we would like to thank our military, active and veteran. And remember, keep, keep on, on casting. casting. <laughs> Boudreaux and Thibodeau loved to fish, but they could never afford a boat. So they heard about this place where you could rent one and fish a private lake. They go down there, they rent a boat, <laughs> what do you know, they catch a boatload of fish. So Thibodeau says, man, Boudreaux, we gotta come back over here. I hope we can find the fish again. Boudreaux takes out his pocket knife and he carves an X on the side of the boat. Thibodeau says, what's that for? He said, this is where the fish were biting. Thibodeau said, Pujo, that's stupid. What if we don't get the same boat? Sacred ground, sacred ground. Dying with a kiss and the miscarry down.